The APD detective who led the investigation into the deadly police shooting of James Boyd is on the stand today. He's given the jury his play by play description of how the standoff with the homeless camper went down before two police officers shot him. News 13's Haley Rush is live at district court with details. Haley. Kim, the detective is walking the jury through his investigation, showing pictures and video leading up to the shooting. The lead investigator showed a video of APD open space officers before Keith Sandy and Dominique Perez ever arrived at the scene. In the video, officers ask Boyd, who's illegally camping in the foothills, to drop his knives over and over again. Prosecutors made a point that the open space officers backed away from Boyd when he wouldn't drop his knives and did not shoot him. The detective said crisis intervention officers showed up next. Because of the additional training, they go uh, in more in depth and, uh, into de-escalation skills and using verbal skills in order to, to talk to people in crisis or with, uh, uh, mental health issues. The prosecution has said Keith Sandy unnecessarily escalated the situation and that he and Dominique Perez shot Boyd when they didn't need to. They're charged with second degree murder and manslaughter. This morning, the judge did dismiss a juror because they were talking outside on their cell phone about the case. Now coming up at 530, we'll hear what the lead investigator says happened when Perez and Sandy showed up to the scene. Back to you, Kim. OK, thanks, Haley. Now also this morning, the judge decided prosecutors cannot bring in Pettis's rifle and show it to the jury. Her reasoning, APD did not collect it as evidence and other officers have been using it for the past two years.